Good morning and welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at Market Site is John Mayer, who's the Chief Investment Officer over at Global X, and we're going to take a look at thematic investing. Thank you very much for joining us at Market Site today. Sure. So there's over 2,000 U.S. listed ETFs, right? So I would imagine how you use them is what differentiates your investing. What are you doing to differentiate it over at Global X? Well, you, you take these, these, this massive amount of 2,000 ETFs, you know, some are broad-based, some are more narrowly focused, and at Global X, we focus on some of the more niche areas, and one of the areas that really has resonated, and it's, re it's, it's a really good diversifier in portfolios, is disruptors, thematic disruptors. ETFs that are changing the paradigm of traditional sectors. Um, so we're, we're trying to use those in broader portfolios in, in, a, in a managed way. So what can you do that a robo-advisor can't do? When I think of robo-advisors, I think of asset allocation that's very broad-based. Mm -hmm. uh, you have your, your S&P 500 and your international exposure and some fixed income exposure. What we do, and what I think makes a lot of sense and it differentiates us, is that we can get more nuanced. Mm -hmm. We can look at those changing paradigms, those structural shifts in financial technology. We have a financial technology ETF, Finex, F-I-N-X, or robotics and artificial intelligence, um, which is uh, disrupting industrials, or lithium and battery technologies, which is industrial, which is uh, changing the way we look at energy, because en lithium powers uh, batteries for elect autonomous vehicles. So would you say that thematic investing, it's a growth vehicle or more of a hedge? I think it could be viewed as both, in a sense, because if you, if you don't have the exposure to what, where the future is going, then you have a problem in, in investing. You look at the traditional gig sectors, over time, while many companies stay in their, in their fishing lanes, they do evolve and change. Now these companies within the thematic ETFs are at the forefront of the change. Where a large company may have some exposure to uh, evolving technologies, it's still a de minimis amount of their overall revenue. But a company in one of these thematic ETFs really is at the forefront of change. And all those companies within the ETF may not survive, but may, and that's the beauty of an ETF, where you have a whole bunch, you're diversifying within a diversified area. So you may have 30 companies, some make money, some don't, some will survive, some won't, um, but you're not exposing yourself to the full risk of buying, trying to find out one company that actually is going to change your, the, the particular technology. So to wrap up, as you suge suggested, markets continue to evolve, but does investing ever change? Investing really comes down to earnings. So a lot of times, like during the dot-com bubble, uh, revenues mattered, the name mattered, whether you had the dot-com at the end or the cryptocurrencies at the end, or blockchain. Like blockchain today, yeah. yeah. Um, but it comes down to, if a company's not going to make money, it's not going to it's not going to exist. So it's earnings, earnings, earnings over a long period of time. Investing never changes. You have to make money. Right. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining thank us you. at Market Site. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.